certainly clipped the red nicely and it's been applauded but whether he can clip that in I wouldn't like to say it certainly looks a very very thin one so that's a little unfortunate but he's got a nice red on here Twenty five. Playing for the 32. red on the right cushion while he had the opportunity to get to it, but he hasn't played the shot well enough. It's forced into taking an easier red. Thirty-three. Not good to com collide with the brown. Got to make another good shot now. Thirty-six. Eighteen points behind now. Well, that's... Thirty-seven. Looks to be quite a good angle on the black there. Just get behind this red. And pink, which he put on the cushion earlier might be the problem ball and he could have gone a little better than that this is missable 44 so if Stephen could have made the red straight to the corner he could have drawn the white ball back to move that pink but this is a tough shot well played <laughs> 45 52. Stevens run out of position here. The yellow is still on to the left corner, but not the position he should have had. 52. Stephen Hendon. <laughs> so within two points of Jimmy White, Henry just lost his way. <coughs> oh, and look at this one. <laughs> well, acknowledgement from Jimmy that, uh, well, he was fortunate. Another snooker off a snooker. It's all happening. Now, can Jimmy make it to lay another snooker from this position? No, but he's left the yellow reasonably safe. It's a very fine cut if Stephen takes it on. all about this yellow. Do you 
Jimmy wants to miss the pink ball here if he can. Just travel too far. White. My words, there were two narrow escapes there. Missed that green, he was really in trouble. Jimmy didn't play that. Oh, it was his turn to be fortunate getting a double kiss, and that green could have gone anywhere. Got a snooker. Got it closer to the corner pocket than he intended, but not a difficult ball for Jimmy to hit, but he still has to keep it safe. <laughs> 